Hello, my name is Leo Cayard. I'm a French artist who dressed the statues up. I have been invited by the King's College to dress the two Bush Houses statues right behind me. It will be part of the Classical Now exhibition that will start on March 1st until the end of April, which is part of a more global project named Modern Classicism. The Classical Now is an exhibition at King's College London running until the 28th of April 2018. It's an exhibition across two sites. Part of it is here in Bush House in the arcade and the other half is in Somerset House East Wing in the Inigo Rooms. Bush House itself is a building from the 1920s and the statues that Leo dressed were by the American artist Malvina Hoffman from 1925. But Leo brought them to life in his own distinctive way, dressing them in clothing. Leo's installation brought this 1920s building right up to the modern day, but it also did something else. It turned the very space of our exhibition into part of the exhibition. It extended the exhibition from our internal galleries to the outward facing world. And that's exactly what we wanted to do with the Classical Now, to make this a conversation piece in London, in the UK and internationally. My idea when I dress the statues up is to um, look at them in a new way. Suddenly when you dress the statues up, it becomes somebody from our daily life. We don't see an iconic figure from the past, we see somebody like me and you. And then we can change um, the vision that we have on space and time, the fact that the past is the present and is much more close to the present than that we usually feel. Between the statues you can see a flickering flame made with gold foil on top that flickers in the wind, really bringing alive those statues for the here and now in 2018. We're particularly grateful to Overbury who helped us to facilitate the Kayard installation here at Bush House. Overbury have been responsible for the renovation of Bush House since its acquisition by King's College London. They've been in charge of all of the building works here at King's and it's thanks to them that we were able to go up in the lift to organise the abseilers and to manage the whole and hugely complex process of Leo's installation. What we've tried to do with this exhibition is to explore the interface between the classical and the contemporary, looking at the influences of classical art in the modern and contemporary world. We've been exploring the period roughly from the 1930s up to the modern day, and we've got around 50 artworks ranging from antiquities from the first centuries BC all the way through to 2018, the classical now. So what we wanted to do with this exhibition is really break down the distinction between classical and contemporary. To my mind, the classical has for too long suffered from associations with conservatism and tradition. And we wanted to show with this exhibition that you can be classical and very much alive and in the present and radical and original. A lot of the artists that we've included in this exhibition are using classical stories or classical characters such as the Medusa in order to think about the present day, to think about violence, sexuality, eroticism, things that still matter in the here and now, but also take us right back to prehistory. The Classical Now has been a collaboration with all manner of external partners. We've involved so many people here at King's College London, but we've also been looking outwards. The exhibition has been co-produced with the Musée d'Art Classique de Mugin um, in southern France, the MACM, and we've had around 20 loans from that particular museum. The exhibition has also involved other sorts of partners too. We're particularly pleased to have here as part of the Classical Now the show of Liquid Antiquity that was first aired in the Bernacchi Museum in Athens last year. Liquid Antiquity features six interviews with leading contemporary artists. It's as though they're actually there in the room so that the visitor can sit in front of the screen and interact with a particular artist, learning about how they themselves consider the classical to have influenced their work. The Classical Now features around 30 artists, ranging from the likes of Henry Moore and Picasso, all the way through to Grayson Perry, Mark Quinn and Damien Hirst. In terms of chronology too, we range from the 21st century to the here and now, all the way back to classical antiquity. One of my own favourites is the bronze head of Apollo that we've featured in the Myth Room. The Modern Classicisms competition was a collaboration between King's College London and the Courtauld Institute of Art with the support of Cultural Programming and the Cultural Institute at King's College. We ask students and staff from King's College London and Cultural Institute to submit entries inspired by the classical legacy and we receive 25 entries 
and we are quite impressed, not only because of the quality, but also by the variety of mediums. We receive computer games, textiles, photography, sculpture, painting, Coral hymns. So we're really delighted to have this wonderful work in here. Uh, our team has collaborated with Michael, Michael Squires and the Classics team to help produce and realise and develop the exhibition. And it's really been a very thrilling journey because it's a, it's a very interesting, challenging and exciting exhibition which brings together the contemporary and the classical in dialogue. So we're really looking forward to welcoming the public and the student community and our partners into King's to experience this work and we hope that it gives an insight into the amazing research that's happening in the Classics Department at King's. The Classical Now is open from Tuesdays through to Saturdays until the 28th of April and we're open 11 o'clock to 5 o'clock. We've also got all manner of cultural programmes incorporated as part of the exhibition run through the Faculty of Arts and Humanities here at King's. We have a weekend at the Royal Academy of Arts, we've got a special Rumble Fund lecture and we've got artist performances too. We very much hope that everyone will come and join us and help us to celebrate the Classical Now here at King's.